Hey guys, um, so, at the time I'm recording and uploading this, Stan Lee passed away at the age of 95. So yeah, this is one of the many tribute videos that you'll probably end up seeing in the next few days. So, Stan Lee has become the face of Marvel Comics, and he got a start there back when it was known as Timely Comics. He ended up co-creating with comic book artists, famous characters including Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, The Hulk, uh, Fantastic Four, Daredevil, Black Panther, X-Men, and Iron Man, Ant-Man, and Thor. All those characters. And no doubt he probably influenced the creation of many others, just not directly responsible for their creation. He was a big name, of course, in comic book industry. Ended up challenging the Comic Code Authority, which was basically the thing that stopped comics from being actually serious pieces of reading <laughs> for a while. And Stanley pushed for stories that had commentary on social issues and a lot of other stuff. I'm sorry, I'm just... Yeah, I can probably just rattle off all the things that you probably already know. And I'm just going to try to make this as brief as possible. So, I guess, add my own personal touch. I was introduced to superheroes several years before I actually read a comic book. The superheroes I was introduced to were Spider-Man... X-Men. Yeah, those were the two big ones. I really love Spider-Man. He has become a great... He's honestly one of my favorites. And the X-Men. Really great stuff. I love the X-Men. And even though a few years later when I was a young kid, I read some comic books, it was really only a few random issues featuring Archie that I found in my parents' cottage when I was a young kid. Didn't actually start reading some actual superhero comics until a few years ago from today. I'm sorry, I'm not just not sure what else to say. I mean, okay, look, Stanley, for most people, or for a lot of people, they probably only recognize him as the guy who makes those surprise cameo appearances in all the Marvel movies. He was mistaken for Hugh Hefner in the first Iron Man movie. He was the guy that said that maybe one man can make a difference when he showed up in Spider-Man 3. Uh, he was the guy who tried to use his truck to pull Thor's hammer out of the ground in the first Thor movie. And of course, he's made a lot of other more significant cameo appearances, especially in a lot of the more recent Marvel movies. People, there are probably going to be people that don't really think too much about him, especially even with his passing. But I think it's important to note, Stan Lee created a world of superheroes, well, not, that weren't just superheroes, they were also portrayed as people with issues and relationships that a lot of people 
end up really connecting with because that's how they became so popular in the first place. Yes, they are. There's the Hulk with his smashing. There's the Fantastic Four and their big adventures, but they also have emotion to them. They had character development and depth that a lot of people truly loved about the stories. They connected on a more deep level with these fictional creations, and that's great. They help. They've helped people probably deal with their own issues back when they were young kids, just reading comic books while trying to hide away from bullies. They probably helped spark influence other people to come up with their own creations and to make something of themselves. I just think it's important to appreciate what Stan Lee has done on a more larger scale. Even if you personally haven't really been... Even if you personally haven't really seen yourself being influenced by superheroes or Marvel, I think it's just important to just realize that Stan Lee helped influence and just help a lot of people in different ways. That's really all I have to say right now. Just felt it was important. So yeah, that's really all I have to say. See you guys next time.